Right, everybody, we're looking at the quadratic functions and equations review. This is question 20E. Two numbers are given by m and m minus 3. Find the numbers if the sum of their squares is a minimum. Okay, well, they've, they've already given us the two expressions here. We're going to find the two numbers here. Um, and we already know that the, it's a, a minimum here. So let's, let's maybe create a new variable here. We've already got the, the two little expressions here, but let's create a new variable here. We're going to let s be the sum of the squares, the sum of their squares, just to keep track of that. So what that means here is s is going to equal m squared plus m minus 3 squared. Okay, so this is, s is what I want to minimize, which means this is what I'm going to complete the square on. We'll just zoom in on this. Now, the first thing I've got to do is expand this out. Now, the nice thing about it is it's, it's got, uh, it's every, all in terms of m right here. Whoa, and I don't know why I wrote cube there. That was bizarre. It should be squared. So now s is equal to m squared plus m squared minus 6m plus 9. Please don't forget that when you're squaring a binomial, you have to, you have to foil that out. There's going to be an, a negative 3m and a negative 3m, and there's going to be two of them okay, to get this. Uh, the ironic thing about this is that when we complete the square, uh, we rely on the fact that, that there is a middle term here that's doubled. However, a lot of people, when you try to square it, you, people forget about that. Anyway, let's continue going on here with completing the square. So I'm just going to simplify that expression there. That is 2m squared minus 6m plus 9. So to complete the square, I'm going to ignore the 9. I'm going to move that sort of out of the way here. And I will factor out that leading coefficient from the quadratic and linear terms. Okay. And now, what I'm going to do here, I know that th this is supposed to be a perfect square trinomial. That's, that's the goal with that. Well, when we do that, the middle term has a factor of 2 in it. So I take it, I'm going to divide out a 2 out of this. But if you take a 2 out of negative 3, you're going to get left with negative 3 halves, which isn't great. But the work i got to do here is actually not that hard. I'm going to square negative 3 halves. Well, 3 squared is 9, 2 squared is 4. And so I'll add and subtract 9 quarters. And then out there is the, is the 9. The next thing I want to do is take the negative term out. So 2 times m squared minus 3m plus 9 quarters. Uh, take the negative uh, 9 uh, quarters out and I'm going to multiply that by uh, negative, sorry, when I multiply that by 2, I'll get negative 9 halves out here plus 9. And so now factoring that perfect square trinomial, the thing that I was completing the square, this becomes m minus 3 halves squared plus 9 halves. So this leaves me with a, whoops, sorry, this leaves me with a vertex, okay, of 3 halves comma 9 halves. Now, the 9 halves is going to represent the minimum sum. The, the value here, this first term is the m coordinate. And remember, the, the two values here are m and m minus 3. So my numbers are going to be m will equal 3 halves. The other one is going to be, sorry, and I should give myself a little bit more room there. The other one is going to be m minus 3 will be 3 halves minus 3. Okay? Well, half of 3 minus 3 is going to just be negative 3 halves. So the two numbers that we're looking for here were 3 halves and negative 3 halves.